the great replacement? Yeah, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's their electoral strategy. Why is this continuing? Because neither party is interested in stopping it. Now, you're not allowed to point this out, of course. The media become absolutely hysterical when you do because it's so obviously true. Not pointing out who the media is, just saying the media is, is it, it's at this point, just saying the media is like watching a BLM riot and, and saying the Democrats, the lack of specificity is intentional. So far, what, what's going on? You're watching this. And you're like, oh, well, this is good. You know, he's using the word replacement. So that's good, especially if, you know, your boomer dad is watching. You know, I've been I've been worried about this. And but because I'm a boomer, someone on TV has to say it before I can I can say anything out loud because someone else has to be the first one to do it. Someone that's approved by everyone else or else I'll be ostracized by society because I have no courage. and I'm not allowed to say anything that might be uh, outside of the realm of acceptable discourse. All right, continue. What's interesting is that if something like this happened in any other country, say in China or Japan or Nigeria, the populations of those countries would likely revolt because you can't do that. Okay, good, good. You know, do, doing the thing that people do to when they want to talk to boomers about race and, and uh, you know, can't get them to, to actually, you can't ever say white people, right, to a boomer. You have to always say something about Japan or something because, you know, boomers have it in their head that Japan is is very homogeneous and and they don't have a problem with Japan being homogeneous and uh, it's very you know it's really uh, cemented in their mind when they think Japan they think Japanese people it's a very specific kind of person right and so it's, it's a good or you know Nigeria would probably do you know, it's something similar and so when you when you say that oh if you start replacing the Japanese people that because there's a that's a very specific kind of person in the mind of a boomer right then uh, you know it, w it would be it would it would change the the character of Japan, right? You have to frame it this way because you can't say anything about white people, right? Or they're all of a sudden they're, they shut down like immediately, right? But okay, keep going, keep going, Tucker. But when it happens in this country, there is mandatory media enforced silence. And in fact, if you notice, it's happening again. Saying media instead of uh, you know who actually is running the media. And look, may, may, maybe I'm jumping the gun, you know, maybe Tucker will start pointing out who runs the media. I doubt it, but you know, keep going. It's your fault. You're immoral. You're a racist. But it has nothing to do with race. It's about change. You see what he's doing there? <laughs> you see what he's doing there? But it has nothing to do with race. It's about change. It has nothing, nothing to do with race. Here's the thing with Tucker. Thanks to people like myself and others pushing and pushing and pushing as hard as we fucking can, oh my God, pushing to get it into the heads of white people that you're getting fucking replaced. You have to have some in-group preference for the love of God. You're getting replaced. White genocide is taking place. It's happening. Everyone's starting to notice like what the fuck's happening here. You know, they're watching the BLM riots. They're watching the people pull down the statues. They're starting to say, what the fuck's happening? What's going on? So what Tucker does, because no, again, like I said, no one said it out loud yet, right? Everyone's, all the boomer cons, they're afraid to say it. No one wants to be the first one. But they can't, they can't shake that feeling because it's no longer a feeling anymore. It's a reality they're experiencing every day, day in, day out. So then Tucker comes along and he gives voice to a lot of these fears, he throws up a graph and he explains, yeah, well, this is what's this is what happened. You you might have heard this from other more extreme, crazy people on the Internet. And they're right. Yeah, it looks like, uh, you know, there is some there's a population change going on. And there's, uh, you know, that this is an issue because the uh, the media will make you sound like a racist if you say anything about this. And, uh, you know, the Democrats, uh, they wanted to, uh, you know. Uh, have a different electorate because they, they, they weren't able to pass the kinds of legislation they wanted to pass. But I assure you... It has nothing to do with race. It's about change. Has nothing to do with race. Has nothing to do with race. It's about change. It's about changing the race! <laughs> like, what, do you, what is it changing, Tucker? Come on! <laughs> what do you mean? It's about change? What do you mean, like Obama's hope and change? About loose change, the 9-11 like, document? Like, what, 
What, what do you mean? It's, it's not about race. It's about change. It's about changing the race. Like, what are you, you fucking moron? What, what are you? Oh, God. The problem is that they're doing it way too fast. This is why I fucking hate this guy. This is why I fucking hate this guy. It's not about race. It's about change. Changing what exactly? I mean, because if it's not about race, what are you changing? Again, it's not about race. It's about economics and social cohesion. Is it about culture? Because that's not a problem then. Because if it's just about culture, it's just it, we're, we just go back to like the stupid 90s argument of the Republicans of we just need them to assimilate. No, we still need we can still flood the country with immigrants. We just need to do it slow enough to where they assimilate. So we're just we just go right back to the 90s. Is that is that what it is, Tucker? What holds everyone together? What is the one thing we all have in common? It's not an ethnic group. It's not a shared history. Now it's not a language. So what is it? Well, in the absence of glue, things break apart. That's a physics principle. What are we changing? What's the problem? I don't see what the problem is. If it's, if it's not the racial makeup of the country, which seems to be exactly what you're talking about in your little Japan analogy, your Nigeria analogy. So what's getting, what's, what's getting changed if it's not about race? This is what he does. He always, every time I, I see these base Tucker clips, it's always Tucker literally parroting exactly, like almost word for word, using some of the same graphs and everything. A lot of the stuff that's on the dissonant right. He'll go through step by step, leading them to the logical, what, well, what, you know, would be a logical conclusion, right? Step by step. And then he gets to the last step the very last step, and then he's like, look over there, and does a switcheroo. If you want to view this as, as, as an Overton window success, I mean, I'll tell you what, it, it, it is a positive that I, I believe he's being forced into the position of actually having to at least walk down that path. Shut up, racist. 